India logs 20,279 fresh COVID-19 cases, 18,143 recoveries and 36 deaths in last 24 hours. India's recovery rate stands at 98.45%. Impact News reporter R.C. Manancha and five other journalists selected for three-month media fellowship program initiated by the public and media management cells of Central Agricultural University. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Sunday Prime Time's English Bulletin and Kanal Sampandram with you. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly and maintain a safe distance from one another. Please remember that the fight against the COVID-19 is not over yet. Now, the news in details. World Health Organization has declared monkeypox a global health emergency. It came at the end of the second meeting of the World Health Organization's Emergency Committee on the Virus. The classification is the highest alert that the World Health Organization can issue and follows a worldwide upshark in cases. According to the media report, World Health Organization's Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said more than 16,000 cases have to be reported from 75 countries. There have to been five deaths so far and as a result of the outbreak, there are only two other such health emergency at present, the coronavirus pandemic and the continuing efforts to eradicate polio. Meanwhile, India reported its fourth monkeypox case. A man from Delhi without a foreign travel history was tested positive for monkeypox yesterday. Three cases of monkeypox had earlier been reported from Kerala. We have an outbreak that has spread around the world rapidly through new modes of transmission about which we understand too little and which meets the criteria in the international health regulations. For all of these reasons, I have decided that the global monkeypox outbreak represents a public health emergency of international concern. Although I'm declaring a public health emergency of international concern, for the moment, this is an outbreak that's concentrated among men who have sex with men, especially those with multiple sexual partners. Stigma and discrimination can be as dangerous as any virus. Dongjay Maril or Kasal Road Transport Union today gave its support to the 48 hour bund called by Rongmai Naga Youth Organization to Manipur and National Highway Surveillance Committee from July 25, demanding repair of the Tongje Maril Road, which is in the pathetic conditioned. Speaking to media, President of Tongje Maril or Kasal Road Transport Union, Sakhauba Riyame expressed disappointment over ignorance ignoring the Tongje Maril Road by the government for a very long time. He reiterated that the road has multiple potholes at some stretch and it has become difficult for vehicles to pass through the mud with heavy loads. It has become accident prone despite various assurance by government and relevant authorities, the road has been lying unattended for a very long time. The non challenged attitude of the government has further escalated the condition of the road. On the other hand, the number of vehicles using this road have increased as Imphal Jiribant Road has been disconnected to, due to collapse of Iran Bridge. Therefore, Sakauba Riyame urged government to initiate the fixing of Tongji Manil Road. Hoje a koi or kasaro tongjai maril line se lambi loi na kai bi re kai gre maram di irang thong tat padagi rambi se loi na kai gre amajung nong kan na ta padagi landslide loi ta re aduga sik line se government na yeng sin bi dra di a koi driver mayam de gari thau bo se ki re atra accident mayam thoi e a koi na chi line se athu ba monung da government na yeng bi dra di hoje a koi rnyom amaga n h s c moi party na Bantoroni, 
Meanwhile, drivers of the goods-laden vehicles deploying on the Tongji Marild or Old Kasar Road expressed discontentment of the Manipur government of not restoring the deplorable road. They said condition of Tongji Marild is deteriorating day by day and due to which drivers are facing difficulties while transporting goods along the road stretch. They urged the state government to repair the road at the soonest. All Manipur Asa Workers Union AMAWU warned of launching different forms of agitation if the government fails to provide a monthly incentive of rupees 1000 to Asha workers as promised by the government on 22nd of November last year. Speaking to media today at Irabad Bhavan in Imphal, General Secretary of AMAWU AK Thoibi urged the government to pay the uniformed monthly amount of rupees. 100 like ASA workers in the rest of the country. She further demanded the government to prom promote ASA workers to the rank of ASA facilitator only when they have 10 years of service in the field and those who hold identity cards of the module 1 to 7. To be warned that AMAWU will initiate various agitation if the demands are not put into action after August 10, as assured by relevant minister on discussing the matter the same day. Daritana Unabada, Hari Banuna Tauriba, Deman Mayamse, Koi Kanar again, Adubu, Agaski Tang, Tara Puntra Matoida, Nuna Piri Basco, Loi Kanar again, Madu the Nogis and Juputo, Nuna Tauri Habado, Aduga, Koi Pira again, Hibadi Kanaraga, Unoi the Ulla again, Tawada di, Maduda, Asienga, Tabaka won't talk Pira, Oida Vatara di, Akoi di, Hadi Matang Karagi, when a tank, Punipandu Kakti, a quick post one to Jabani court, Bobisine Maram Oiduna, Adubu Tang, Tara, the meeting Tower of Matunda. Chairman of Joint Forest Management Committee, Iroi Simba Ahibam Sanjit, told today alleged that the excavation work at the edge of Iroi Shemba Hills under Langold Reserved Forest was actually carried out by Keystone Private Limited and not by the Joint Forest Management Committee, as alleged in some media reports. He clarified that the Keystone Private Limited is working on construction of a water tank at the Iroi Shemba Hills and the excavation was done by Bury Piped with the aim to supply water to Imphal City. Sanjeet further stressed that the committee has been working to preserve and protect the Iroi Shemba Hills by carrying out many tree plantation drive. However, the construction going to build water tank has resulted to destruction of the forest. He assured that there have been going to going on without informing the forest department and the committee. He also urged people not to carry out any destructive work at the hill. Aquina, Sigi, Lambizigi, put Patsigina Kanda Tava, Pambika, Amazoque, to Moina, Kana, Ingaram Baduda, and the Madoka, and I can pop it over the coin of Pambishing with the Hong Kongs into Wakudong Java, so Luxor with them. Anagumba, Kanagumbi, Natra, Kuvi, the Labour Missing, who charges into Antipiramba, 
adagi thidik piram ba kyam to ina thena jai masi ju ekut bagi khan nga khat mina bo ina mayam na mon na to bi dana so Shiv Sena Manipur State Union today expressed belief that the election of Draupadi Murmu as the 15th President of India will embolden the women of the country. Speaking to media today at the party office in Babupura Imphal, Shiv Sena Manipur State Union President M. Tombi congratulated all the MPs and MLAs who voted for the NDA presidential candidate. Tombi revealed that he will be attending swearing-in ceremony of Draupadi Murmu as the new president tomorrow while reaffirming its support for agnipad schemed and tombi expressed confident that the scheme will help in further strengthening the defense sector he appealed to political parties not to spread rumors against the agnipad schemed during the program tombi also welcomed the three new entrants to the party National Democratic Alliance <laughs> Bhutok Ripa candidate Dorapati Mur Murshida, Shiv Senagi, MLS, MPs, Punamagna, Katopuka Lunana Kwina, Boat P Dana, Mana Mai Pakpa, Mawana Boat P Griba Kwigi, MLS Sing, MP Sing, State Unit Kimagi the Gikai Kunas of Takas of Pongok Sare, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi Jiki Makada, Defense. Asuki Matik Akwe, World Sid of Zik Akwe, Ataya Topa country singer, Akwe Bebarto, unite over an equi. Agni put I will see Tabuk Pangram Naru Putamana Masik Kudum Sab Lowio I will see Siv Sinagi Magidi invite of Jerry. The center amended the flag coat of India to allow the tricolor to be displayed in the open and on individual houses on building through day and night. According to media report, now a number of the public and private organization or an educational institution is allowed to hoist the flag on old days and occasions, ceremonial or otherwise maintaining the dignity and honor of the tricolor. The move came ahead of 75th anniversary of the Indian independence. Well, now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We will be back with details after the break. Until then, keep watching Impact News. Kanganjaba, Panthavi Housing Finance Company Limited, Amazon Sister Company Singhi, Maikai Digi Kanghalakli Madudi, Company Singh Asitagi, Loan Lokraga, Defaulter, Oinia Lady, but Loanee Member Singha, Lakli Ba Julai Gi Tang Taraga Manga, Ingli Singha Nige Kuni Thoi Fao Gi Manungda, Isa Isa Gi Loan Tudu Singh, Singdok Pika Dabani, Hayeng Mag Head Office, Amazon Brands Office Singha Lakpiraga, Due Amount Singh Adu Singdok Piyu, Thao Shabitra Badi Isa Isa Gi Property Singh, Sarfasi Act 2002 Gi Makhada Auction Tok Tok Chara, Hanasu auctioned Toba Yaukrabani. Kanganjariba, Panthavi Housing Finance Company Limited, Amasung Sister Company Singh. Taurangbam Lekai, Uripok Imphal. Yai School Moinangkom Imphal West Salaiba, Brazilal Institute of Sciences, BSK, Academic Session 2022-23K, Class 11 Science Kit Mission, Hausari. Online registration in the Magpizariba website, httpv-school.in, ADM form, BIS, Moinangkom Asida, Register W. Offline admission in the Mag School Office are Ayuki Pungni Pandagina, Nungtil Gi Pungani Pau, the Lakpiraga admission, Tobi Bayagani. Akupa Marul Gi the Mag, 9366-201-278, Natraga, 9862276589. To touch the pinnacles of success, get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India. Unaco School, excellence in education. The Academy of Naurem Thong Bazaar, a kakna basit masing ni ahan balak pa mahiroy sing da free si pizari. Class 11 science ki admission fi lau jaroy. Prism Academy of Naurem Thong Bazaar.
Presto Personalized Wonders Imphal da launa hangdok chere haidi basida personalized gifts corporate gifts awards and mementos home decor office rubber stamp na chingba potlam sing mafam ase da phangbi gani ngasi maklang sing birau Telegraph Enterprises Presto Thangal Bazar near Kasturi Tong Imphal Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Sunday Prime Time, the English Bulletin. India added 20,279 new COVID-19 cases, 18,143 recoveries and 36 deaths in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cash load stands at 1,52,200. Total recoveries are 4 crore 32 lakh 10,522. Recovery rate stands at 98.45 percent. That toll reaches at 5 lakh 26,033. Over 201 crore 99 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 57 crore 48 lakh 9,000 people. It has claimed above 64 lakh 2,000 people, and recoveries are above 54 crore 43 lakh 84,000. United States. Of America has the highest active cases of above 37 lakh 92,000 in the world. Union Minister of State for External Education and External Affairs Dr. R.K. Ranjan expressed concern that Chandal district, which is one of the aspirational districts of India, still lags in education and health sector. Dr. R.K. Ranjan was speaking to media at BJP head office yesterday following an inspection of Chandal district. The minister further pointed that the district has improved a lot in road and connectivity. But when it comes to education and health, the district is in very bad condition. The Minister assured to apprise the centre regarding the prevailing conditions and the chandled through a report. Government of India, the local the aspirational district that it should start all development with the first priority. Talk about the machine, the guy, whatever service that be. Pulling chicken, the gate, the owner of the suit of high second to our film member, built over there. Sunday districts that it should be uh, targeted for first development. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Impact News reporter R.C. Mangangcha is selected for a three-month media fellowship program initiated by the Public and Media Management Cell of Central Agricultural University, CAU Iroisemba, Imphal. Altogether, six journalists from six different media houses in Manipur have been selected for the scientific journalism program on the topic application of science in agriculture. The other five journalists are Taurimd Bishwa. Ajid of Sanalai Bak newspaper, Angie Liklai Leima of Sangai Express, Sagol Sem Vigyand of People's Chronicles newspaper, Huidromd Roni Bala of Naharolgi Thogdang daily paper, and Laishram Miravanta of Durdashan Kendra Imphald. Public and Media Management Sales of CAU said the Media Fellowship Program is initiated to motivate media persons in Manipur for taking an active role in bringing out the issue of local farmers and for their contribution towards enlightening the farmers on the importance of technology in agricultural activities. An awareness program on the prevention and early detection of cancer called RICS assessment was organized jointly by Janim's Cancer Hospital and Citizens. Club Soibam Lekai. Speaking on the occasion, the Director of Karkinos Manipur Cancer Care and Research Center, Professor G. H. Morang Themd, underlined on people and the state of checked for cancer in advance as cancer is high, highly pre pre prevalent in 
all the states of Northeast, including Manipur. And the wake of rising cases of cancer in the state in the past few years, Professor G.S. Moirangdim highlighted the importance of early detection of this disease in order to improve chances of cure, curing it. He also urged the people to eat healthy food. Wangkai Emily T. H. Arun Kumar, a former health director, Dr. K. Raju, and advisor of Karki Knows Manipur Cancer Care, Dr. R. K. Nimai, and other participated in the program. <laughs> together <laughs> we we will fight together as part of the ongoing week-long campaign on World Hepatitis Day 2022 organized by Community Network for Empowerment, co -E, a screening and vaccination program for Hepatitis B was jointly organized by co -E and Babina Diagnostics at community hall in Kaisampat, Lema Jumped Lakai today. Out of the 55 drug users who were screened, one person was found positive for hepatitis B. Speaking on the sidelined program co collector of co and e as Berlin urged old to contribute to the mission on eradicating hepatitis from the world by 2030. He appealed to the public to test for hepatitis and taking necessary treatment if found infected with hepatitis through availing free medicines from the governments. Inadio had looked to organize a once day discourse on Umang Lai Harab today at the Manipur Press Club in Imphal. The program was held with an objective to preserve and promote the culture and tradition of the Manipur. Manipur University of Culture Vice Chancellor Dr. Ponand Gunindro, along with several personalities related to culture and religion, attended the event. Speaking on the occasion, Inadio had looked Vice President Motum de Koronganba Mangang said Umang Lai Harab. Rauba is believed to be the origin of life for indigenous peoples of the Manipur, their religion and believed. He added that the discourse was held to discuss the prevailing changes seen in the identity, lifestyle, culture and tradition of indigenous people in Manipur and giving awareness to youngsters on things which are forbidden to do and things which are allowed to do. During the event, teachers of the Manipur University of Culture and Manipur University, leaders of Tangkul and Kabui groups gave elaborate on topics related to Lai Harauba. Quite a academic oiba, a wang but haki professional oiba, university, college, a madi, formal and informal oiba, education system, the lady bar, Tazanabi, Zanabi singer, Massey, a quay come downa, a matoina, Massey, recognize Santoduna, Massa Kangaga, Tolaliba, a one bar, crisis oiba. Sahit Academy and Fiction and Poetry Club to Manipur jointly organized a program on a literary forum with fiction writers of the Manipur today at the Old of Manipur Hindi Parisat in all assembly wrote. The event was held with the objective to promote budding writers in Manipur. Manipuri Language Advisory Board, Sahitya Academy, New Delhi Convener and Kiran Kumar, Writers Forum Imphal President and Kaisham Priyo Kumar attended the program. 
Participants recited short stories during the occasion. For the first time, artists of Manipur Theatre Academy will showcase its play based on patriotism titled Maribak Ningba Koyin Sena outside Manipur. The Academy will perform the play at the Symbiosis Auditorium in Pune on 13th of August. Patriotic Day observance to be organized by Association of the Manipuri Diaspora AMA and D. Pune. Speaking to media, director of Maribak Ningba Koyin Sena, Salungbam Virend said 26 artists of the Manipur Theatre Academy will take part in the visit. Virend said artists are facing difficulties trying to bear huge expenses of the upcoming Pune trip. He demanded to the to put into actions on the request made by Association of the Manipuri Diaspora to the Art and Culture Department and Chief Minister towards giving financial assistance to the artists. <laughs> Under Sheikh Nurul Hassan Health Protection Mission, a 65-year-old woman went through a successful goldstone surgery. The beneficiary is Wand Pukramband Indubala, wife of P. Vagya Chandra, resident of Thambal Kong Mayai Lekai in Ketrigao constituency. Indubala expressed gratitude to Ketrigao MLA Sheikh Nurul Hassan for helping her out in her treatment. The 30-day-long 28th Moirang Parva training program concluded at the Iboyai Mashumang Lila Sangland in Palace Compound. Attending the closing day of the training program, which was jointly organized by Manipur State Sumang Lila Council and Theatre Mirror Imphal, Chairman of the Manipur Handloom and Handicraft Development Corporation, K.H. Ibomcha, loaded the organizers for making an efforts to revive and popularize art and culture. Of Manipur. Matamgi, Awan Bagi, Akan Masapu, Maraksida, Akwegi Kalsazi, Sumami Samakwagi, Mola Malako Matamsida, Manipur Sumangla Council, Theatre Mirana Lokaliba, Tabasita Singa, Akwegi Manipur Gilani, Kwe Manipur Raleva, Punamanga, Sagat Pum to E, Sumangla, Natraka Sumang Kumi, Haina Kanga River, Art Form Mazi, Akwegi Manipur, Maitraba, Sida Miam, the Yamna, Pamnakrobo Kumi Makalamani, Manipur State Sumangla Council, Amadi Theatre Miner, Impala Nina Kusam. Kunipanak Subata, Amagi in the Saturak Pom, Merang Paraba, Maram Yam Nasava, Rogamaram Yam San, a Sin Biba program money. Sambar Dini Nyas Manipur Prant today organized a tree plantation program at College of the Food Technology Campus in Langold Game Village, marking the Ajadi Ka Amrit Mohotsav. The tree plantation was carried out as part of the Old Women Training Program, which started on the 20th of July on interrogated farming system with reference to livestock for empowerment of farmed women. Environmental thoda protection hona chahiye. Us rishi se hai, vaise Madhipur dekha to harit bharit kshetra hai. Lekin phir bhi hum chate hai ki next environmental है लेकिन फिर भी हम चाहते हैं कि नेक्स्ट जनरेशन जो आएगा उस जनरेशन को भी इसका कुछ ट्रेनिंग इसकी मानसिकता उनकी बनाने की आवश्यकता है कि उनको भी ये एनवायरनमेंट को प्रोटेक्ट करना है तो हम उसका ट्रेनिंग कैसा देंगे वो विचार मन में कैसे प्रैक्टिकल उनसे काम करवाएंगे तो एनवायरनमेंट को प्रोटेक्ट करने की एक संस्कार कहिए विचार कहिए उनके मन में हम इस माध्यम से भरना चाहते हैं a cultural campaign on the topic Our Culture, Our Identity was organized by Sanskar Bharati Manipur Prant at Ningthaujamd Mandobd of Iromd 
Majrao Mamanglika in Imphal's West. Speaking on the occasion, General Secretary of Sanskar Bharati Manipur Prant G. Visheshwar emphasized on the role played by culture and inculcating disciplines among young students. General Secretary of Rastriya Soyam Sevak Sangh, RSS Manipur State, as Tarun Kumar, President of the Sanskar Bharati Manipur Prant H. Tombi and Director of PAL Tikend also attended the program. Manipur ki naharon koi ki hogole liwa mahiroi sing da taxi kasi le na na ba aduga na ki oi ba mahiyasi khang ba na koi da taxi kasi kai da na ahalaman masak khang na mahi masing tambda mapung pahan na bagi pandam da pangthok sa bani hai liwa program asy Manipur ki district sing da sanskar bharti Manipur pran na koi ki school college aduga from grassroots tagi koi culture ki elements sing si yong khat na bagi pandam da program asy pangthok sa bani do masina koi mahiroi sing da here na thoi na Manipur ki naat asi bu khangan bada amadi makhoi ki lamcha saaza shemkat bada Manipur bu masak taak bada asa uba mafam ama kalagani Bank of Baroda celebrated its 155th Foundation Day. As a part of the celebration and under the corporate social responsibilities, Bank of Baroda Governor wrote Imphal donated one swing and a slider to Anand Ching Eco Park in Kakching as a part of the gre greening the rocks of Anand Ching campaign. Ten saplings were planted at the heritage complex situated in the Anand Ching Eco Park today. Now the sports news. Cyclo Cyclone Thangmai Bund wins the final of the 6th W Pralhad and W Ramananda Elite Cricket Tournament by defeating Trao Kwakaithild in the 26 runs in the final match played today at Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium in Luang Sangbund. Winning the Toads, Cyclone Thangmai Bund baited first and secured 191 runs, losing 4 wickets in the stipulated 40 overs. In reply, Trao Kwakaithild secured only 165 runs, losing all 10 wickets wickets in 35 overs and 5 bowls winning. Teamed Cyclone Thangwai Bund received a cash prize of rupees 2 lakh trophy and medaled. Runners of Trao Kwakai Thilt received rupees 1 and a half lakh trophy and medaled. YAS Minister Govindas Kontok jumped, YAS Director T.H. Fuland, Manipur Cricket Association Vice President L. Vinoy, Secretary Peter Khedramayum, Treasurer L. Ronald, Joint Secretary K. Bobind and many noted personalities of MNCA attended the closing ceremony. Manipur Cricket Association organized the championship under the sponsorship of the W. Vaktaraj. Luang Pukpa Cricket Stadium Sida Tongan Tongan Ba Honorable Chief Minister Na Plan Kayamale Indoor Stadium Swimming Pool Gym Aduga Maike Yani Da Wali Ba Koye Gallery Sing Sa Ba Ge Sima Koye Pipeline Da Laibang Haak Tani Aduga Flood Light Ke Mayam Nubi Re Already We Have Deposited 10 Crore Water Resources Department Da Koye 10 Crore Deposit Da Ure Aduga Most Probably Sadli Ba Financial Year 2022-23 Sida Loi Na Ba Ge Pandam Thammi Aduga Thin Thar Aba Da Next Year Ge Early Part 2023-24 Financial Year Da Koye Loi Shin Mangang Bani Masina Aigi Achi well, that's all we have in this bulletin, but before we wind up, let's take a glimpse at the headlines once again. World Health Organization declares monkeypox a global health emergency, with one new confirmed case in Delhi, India's monkeypox Delhi, which is four. India lost 20,279 fresh COVID-19 cases, 18,143 recoveries and 36 deaths in the last 24 hours. India's recovery rate stands at 98.45%. Impact News reporter R.C. Malanchai and five other journalists selected for three-month media fellowship program initiated by the Public and Media Management Sales of Central and Cultural University. Thank you so much for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time Money Pre Bulletin, which will be presented by our anchor, Mr. Okram Sobindro. In the meantime, for more news and information, please do not hesitate to follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Until then, have a great Sunday evening and always stay safe. Hey,
Yam Hau, BB Bakery, Amasung Hunger Games, South Indian, Special Oil, Samuro Mamanglekai, Opposite Oil Pandani, Mapham